Hi Snooker fans, Curtis Brayton here for QSports.club. I'm at Aidan Owens Pop Black Club in Clapton, so I thought I'd catch up with former English amateur champion, the colourful character, the legend, the big AD of London town himself, Alex Davis. Al, how are you son? How you doing mate? You alright? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad pal. Uh, listen, just want to catch up with a few things about your career and what you've been up to since you've uh, stopped playing, although you're trying to get back on the tour again mate. But um, firstly, what got you into snooker? Um, well, I, was play, I used to play a bit of football at Colchester United and uh, my brother used to go to snooker tournaments and, and practice and that and I used to go and pick him up with my dad from, from the club from practicing and I just went in there every now and again, started hitting a few balls and then went to tournaments when I weren't playing football. Obviously my dad would enter me just to get, get me away from him I think, he didn't <laughs> get to shut me up. So then I, was, uh, I used to have, well, just took hidings really, that's how you know he didn't like me, he used to love just watching me get pumped every week <laughs> at Willie Forms. So I used to get pumped every week for about a year. And well, a year and a half, and then I started winning a few games here and there. And then, like anything, you've got to lose before you win, don't you? Absolutely, Pat. And I know you hold a very, very prestigious record as well as the youngest ever English amateur champion, yeah. which you uh, never let Ben Wollaston forget, eh? Nah, you like that, didn't you, Scalzi? <laughs> <laughs> you was unlucky there, that was the one time I did beat you. <laughs> so, Pat, tell us, what's your opinions on the current state of the pro game first before we talk about the amateur side of the game? Um, well, it's a lot better now. Yeah. I mean, it's better in the fact if you're good enough, you will earn money. Whereas before, I suppose if you are good enough, you. But when I was first on the tour, well, fifth day of Challenge Tour, nineteen on the main tour, there were six tournaments. You, you know, I was a million. I won two hundred and fifty quid, yeah, yeah. and I lost ten nine to Ian Priest for four and a half grand. I remember driving home thinking suicidal thoughts the whole way, <laughs> just thinking I ain't even got enough for a Mars bar. And I was thinking this ain't for me. And then I had a few, yeah, yeah. So, um, but it's better now. You can you can earn good money and. Before you had to play, you always had to play good players. You, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like you, you had to play some, someone for Lawler, for Fergal, whatever it was. Yeah. It was always tough, and then you got on TV, and, but now you're getting a shot, you've got a best of nine, you play well, yeah. you'll beat them, you're getting three grand. So for me, no, no one can moan, but obviously, it, when I went to China the three times, walked into Higgins, walked into Neil. I'd rather not have gone. I'd rather have just got pumped at wherever, yeah. took me three grand and gone home instead of paying for the flights. And I didn't like flying anyway, that's half the reason I, cut, well, I sort of took a couple of years out <laughs> and I weren't good enough. No, but Paul, I mean, you make some good points there because at the end of the day, like I said, these players, these, I don't realise how lucky they are. But like you said, when you were playing six tournaments, if you didn't have a good UK and world, you're off. You were done. You, you were done, do you know what I mean? And, and a lot of these guys now you're don't realise how lucky they are. No, no, you're yeah, blessed. Yeah, if, it was, if the tour was the way it was, if the tour was how it was now, when say 10 years prior like well I'd like to think it would have been a lot different for me yeah. uh, and maybe a few others but obviously it, it won't so so no one can moan now in my opinion they can only moan about the travelling and the expenses but then if you are good enough you'll win the money to afford it well I mean there's been a lot of talk on Twitter about the same thing what you're saying pal, and I'm, I'm in full agreement with you pal because there's a lot of players like whining and moaning about expenses and draws and that but from my personal opinion is you can only have so many bad draws I mean, how many excuses do you want to make? Do you know what I mean? Know, yeah, of, of course. Day. But how can they moan? If they look back at Prestatin, but well, the players that are playing now, you had to win two games for fifteen hundred quid. Yeah, and yeah. they weren't mugs. They were no, good players. That's right. You know, you had to beat, you had to beat two good players for fifteen hundred quid. You know what I mean? So yeah. people can't moan now. They're getting a shot against, you know, whoever it is for three grand. You play well for five frames. You have got three grand. Yeah, absolutely. Fully agree, pal, mate. And also, also, not, move, moving on from that. I mean, the current state of the 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 tour and the depth of the tour what's your opinion on that like I mean a lot of players have moaned about so many players on the tour do you agree with one to it on the tour or do you uh, I think both three I think well I think it, it stems from the Q score and the qualifying and the amateur game there's not enough good amateurs to make one to eight on the tour no because of the way it's run if you run a decent Q score then yeah have, have a one to eight because all the players would be lower down would be better yeah. But there's a, there's a lot of people that ain't good enough on there because of the way it's run from the amateur, from the Q squad. Yeah, agreed, Pa. And, and what's your opinions on the amateur game at the moment, Pa? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, in all honesty, uh, 80% is not, 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 not the best, are they? I mean, I played, I weren't even practicing two years ago, I played an hour before on a Friday night. I went to tournament and won it. And you couldn't, you couldn't do that years ago, it was impossible. Yeah, yeah. You'd just get turned over in the last 16 and go home. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, let's be honest, the amateur games are shambles. The yeah. standards. You know, I'm not going to win every tournament because you will walk it. There's a few good players. There's, there's a handful, 10 maybe good players, but 
there's a, there's a lot of people wasting money in there. Let's be honest. Can I ask you something, bro? Like an honest opinion. Why, why do you think that is? I mean, do you think it's just is it because there's, there's nothing coming in through the production line? Do you just think uh, not enough money from what Snook have been pushing to the amateur game? What's your opinions? Yeah, there is no amateur game, is there? There's no, not an really. amateur game. It, there's no. It's going to be all Chinese, isn't it? One day, because there's no amateur game here. There's no one coming through, is there? I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. No, no, no. I mean, I agree. That it, it all comes from Q School and. Uh, yeah, it's it's up to Barry Hunt to run an amateur game now because it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Unless you want it to be all Chinese, but if they don't switch something soon, there's no one coming. There's no good players. Yeah, no, no, I fully agree. So, Paul, listen, moving on from the snooker side of things, um, what have you been up to anyway? Like since you stopped playing? Um, nothing, mate. Nah, just uh, buying, selling a few cars. Yeah, track, going gym, work at the gym. Not nothing really. <laughs> nothing important. <laughs> just yeah, just got just bought a flat and that so. Just chilling. Good man, mate. Now, I've heard on the grapevine you're trying to get back on the tour. I mean, I know you started playing up here. Beautiful club, Aiden's Club. Uh, tell us a little bit about the club and what well, Aiden's been doing for you. You can say for yourself, can't you? Everyone that's been here says it's the best club in England. Like, I'd like to think I've been to all the clubs you can go to, unless there's one out in the valley somewhere in Wales, you know what I mean? <laughs> unless there's one in the middle of nowhere that no one's been. But yeah, it's the best club by a mile. And if it, if it weren't for this club, I, I still wouldn't be playing. So that's the only reason. This club, I met Aiden, and it, he obviously he didn't know me from Adam. He just obviously asked about and that. Probably people try to put him off me, I reckon. <laughs> but, <laughs> but he thought he'd take a gamble, and then yeah, he, he just invited me. And he gave me free light help, like sponsor me and told him so he's done me a world of favours. So if it weren't yeah, if it weren't for the club, I wouldn't be playing. Yeah, no chance. I'd still be just flying about, working at the gym. Gotcha, mate. So are you, are you definitely getting into Q school coming into the year then? Yeah. Yeah, at the moment, yeah, I'll be going Q school. Although I don't like it, I think it's a, I think it's a joke. It puts me off, but you got to do it and you have to get on. I think that's the only way. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's been a lot of talk about it. I mean, back, obviously, I've known you for years and years and years. Seems like now, yeah, anyway. at least you've been driving me mad for years and years. Yeah. That's for sure. But um, at least 12, 13 years. At least, Paul. And I'm thinking, like back in the Pyros days, it was such a fairer way to get on the tour, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? Well, if you look at the park, like ah, people can't moan now. It, it's built. Like there's people that are getting on the tour that they couldn't, they could never have got on the tour ten years ago when I got on. Agreed. It was impossible. I'm not going to name names, but you know who you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, you can't yeah, moan because yeah. you was finished. You was finishing 30th, 40th on the pass. Yeah, yeah. Unless if you had a good season. But it was. It was. Yeah, I mean, no, agreed, agreed. The top, the top eight that went through on the pass. Every year, without foul, minimum of the six best players were in the top six. We're in the top eight. Minimum. Yeah. You only, and I can only remember one fluke really, and that was actually right. But he could play. He had a good season. Yeah. But when I say fluke, he, no one had heard. No one knew about him, yeah. and he went six bad tournaments, final, final. Yeah. And it was like, well, who's this kid, sort of thing. But that, when you say fluke, he's had. He's not fluked it. No one just knew about him. Yeah. Whereas it was always Leo, Lee Walker, Mathlin. Yeah. It, it was always the top players. Yeah, no, no, I fully agree with you, Paul. Fully agree. Because, I mean, if you look at the queue, so now, I mean, like you said, we won't name any names. You know, from, you don't have from, to name from, names. For obvious reasons, but there's quite a few there. No, know you are. <laughs> <laughs> you keep donating. <laughs> it's, to be honest, man, I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to definitely agree with you there, Paul. I mean, yeah. like, there, there's, there's a few names there that you know just over eight, just over a proper format of eight tournaments. I feel bad. I, I, I don't, I'm not one of them people that don't want anyone to win matches. I, I want you all. I, I wish there was enough money for everyone to earn. But for yeah. me, they're just donating. And it, yeah. it, you know, it's a bit, it's up to them, isn't it? But they can call themselves pros, can't they? And donate 20 grand over two seasons. Yeah, yeah. But that ain't for me, really. No, uh, listen, mate, I'm in full agreement with you there, Paul. Like I said, man, I mean, the, the Q school this year threw up some very, very strange results, to, to yeah. say the least. And, and like you said, because of the, how cutthroat it is with just two tournaments, the best players are not getting through. Yeah, but they're then, not getting through. Yeah, yeah, but then you have, because we've been around so many years, like David yeah. John Priest, yeah. like, I was in group chats and people were going, how's he? And I was going, look, you don't realise. 10 years ago when these people would give you 30 stars yeah, yeah, they're mugging me off yeah, and I'm yeah. going alright I'm going well you just watch Priest go you watch David John yeah. say no more when they've both got through yeah. oh, I'll go on the group chat like what's happening boys yeah. nothing you can't nothing. get the word back can't in it. <laughs> it just goes left group left yeah. group yeah, yeah so yeah. but they were quality players even back then you know. yeah absolutely so, Priest so, and John very so, good players so to me when they come through and nice keys as well so to me when they come through that weren't a shock to me no no but Good luck to them. I think they're, good, they're really good players, and like David John said it himself on Facebook, he's not good enough at the moment compared to what he used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I hope he gets back there, you know, just to show the others. Well, I mean, to be honest, like I said, David John was a tremendous amateur. Do you know what I mean? Like you said, a he's, lot another, of the... he's another one. If the game was how it was now, 
Yeah. 15 years ago. Oh, he'd, he'd have gone, he'd have sold. Yeah, he'd have sold, he'd have sold. He'd have, well, I don't know how far he would have got, but I'll tell That's you That's my what. opinion. You yeah. know, the older lot might say, oh, Alex is deluded or cooked, but for, for me, he was always on the high break. He was always on the high break board. He was always in the semis of, and yeah. it was a good standard at the juniors. You know, he had, he had all of them. Yeah, he was a very, very good player, David. Yeah. Fully agree, Paul. Fully, fully agree. Now tell us, mate. I've heard you've been offered a few money matches since you've been uh, playing at Aiden's club. I mean, is there anybody that's called you out? Anybody that's got um? Celty called me out. Give him a tour <laughs> for, for his travels. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming back for it and give you another tour as well, probably. Nah, Celty come down. I donated a tour to him. King Kingy comes down and plays me a tenner a frame. But yeah, no, nah, Kingy comes down just for our chat and. It, even him, even he's just won that big tournament. Yeah, I'm yeah. chuffed for him. He yeah. still travels down to play me, and he's doing me a favour by coming down, practicing yeah. me, getting me ready. Yeah, like, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. You can't buy that. No. There's not many people that will win a chunk or in the top thirty in the world. They'd be like, oh, just come with me if you want to go. Yeah. But he just gets in his car, comes down, yeah. give him a bit of food or whatever. And, well, I suppose ten or a frame he wants. He can't wait to come <laughs> down. Put this way, he's eating well every time he comes yeah. down. Eh? <laughs> but obviously, playing Michael Judge today for six grand or eight grand or whatever it is. Uh, yeah. So. So, uh, so it's basically Kingy and Selt that's, that's called you up. It's Kingy and Selt so far. I've, um, yeah. Who else? Oh, G Giorgio. Giorgio Tech. Giorgio rung me. I think he was drinking or smoking some substances. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Giorgio, please come. If you can do once a month, that'd just be brilliant. <laughs> Just once a month. If you just give me a thousand a month, that's two fifty a week. That's minimum wage. I don't need to get a job. That's blinding. So Georgia, the challenge has been set, Mike. Um... It's not a challenge. Uh, please come. Like he knows. I can't wait. Oh, that's one, a different class, mate. Different class. Oh, so who, who do you keep contact with on the tour now? Do you, do you still keep contact with quite yeah, a few? Yeah, keep contact. Yeah, obviously I'm good mates with Kingy, Sel. Obviously, you know, Sel is always ringing me for car, like we do cars or watches and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Michael, Leslie, Lionsy, Panda. Yeah, they're all good boys. Yeah, eighty percent of the tour, I get on. You know, you get yeah, on well with. They're yeah. all because you're all travelling together for two years. Whoever you get on, there's obviously little groups of people, but you, you get on better with some people. But everyone's all right, you know. Yeah. So yeah, you get a group chat. Well, obviously I did have the group chats, but my phone smashed. But um, yeah, Michael Leslie, people like you know, good mates from yeah. Kingy comes down every. He's been down twice this week. Yeah. Can't think who else really. Everyone's on Facebook, aren't they? Yeah. Just keep just social Alfie, media connections. People, I keep like Alfie, people like that. Yes. A bit bad for him, really. After that, what's just happened to him? I mean, what, what was your opinions on that? Oh. I think it's a dis disgrace. I think it's an absolute disgrace. Not just the fight. Obviously, we all sign contracts. We all know, but he obviously didn't read into it. But you, people say you, you know, you can't. It, he was just a bit stupid. He did it in his own name because fifty percent of the tour are doing it, if not more. Yeah, yeah. we both know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, for, for, for him to get down the line, you ain't got five grand spare to be paying fines. It's not golf or tennis, is it? No, no. And f for me, how to, they, they should have just kept that quiet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, instead of tarnishing his name, because to me, I, I read it just quickly. It looked like suspended, but his name's all over Facebook now. Yeah, he's yeah. got a family, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Don't need that, in my opinion. No, I'm in full, full agreement with that. I mean, to be honest, like you said, it's, it's a tough one, obviously. He knows he shouldn't be punting, but well, like, he, like he's, the, he hasn't done anything wrong in my eyes, you know what I mean? He's had a bet. He's, he's had a bet. He's not betting himself to lose. No. Why, no. why are they trying to make examples out of Alfie? Uh, yeah. It's not for me. That's, you know, they, uh, uh, everyone's got issues with him. They fine a lot of people for no reason. People get away with murder. But for me, for me the, the way they dealt with Alfie, Alfie's just completely wrong. Yeah. If they, if they, you know, they should have kept that quiet. But they obviously want to set an example of him and take a liberty, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I, pre I appreciate your honesty on that. I'll, I'll just back to your career a bit, man. What, what, tell us your most memorable match you was involved in. Don't want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's because uh, you know he's watching this, right? <laughs> yeah, Skullsy, you like that. Um, yeah, uh, I actually beat me. Well, the, 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 me and my brother laugh about it because when I won the English amateur. Yeah. I beat my brother in the last 16. Yeah, yeah I well, remember. I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Like, obviously, he, he weren't trying his hardest to win. Come on, Georgie! He, 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 weren't, he weren't trying his hardest to win because um, he was already on the Challenge Tour. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the winner of the tournament got the Challenge Tour. So when I'm, when I'm, um, when I'm playing my brother in the last 16, he's... Uh, He's not trying his eyes to win, but when we're free each, yeah. he's gone. Uh, he's left me plumb in. And he's walked past me on the ref, and he's went. If you don't clear up from here, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't put a ball match, but then obviously I beat Goldie and I beat Wollaston in the final. It's good, you know. Obviously the Wollaston one, because obviously that was that was the biggest one I've ever won. Yeah, but yeah. The uh, the lows outweigh the highs, I'd say. And what's your favourite venue that you ever played at? Never got to the cruise ball. weren't very good over a distance. <laughs> I, was, I was just a, I was just a banger, wasn't I? Um, 
I like the Welsh. Yeah. Even though your best mate Mathlin took me apart, <laughs> you know, I like the Welsh. Yeah. I, I thought that was in that in that bit. I, I like the table. I like. I think I like, that was in Newport, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah to yeah, me, great, I, I really venue. like that. Yeah, that was that, a great venue. To be fair, and, uh, was, yeah. all I did was watch the watch Mathlin pass some stupid balls and watch the rest <laughs> come out. But, <laughs> but yeah, I enjoyed it when I did get me out on the table for breaking off and that. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'd say that. I'd say that definitely. Yeah, I didn't like the UK because then obviously you're out the back and yeah, you can, nah, definitely the Welsh. So so your your, your wasn't feeling at all, then? Nah, not for me. Nah, didn't like York twice. Yeah. Nah, to be to be honest, but I think a lot of players agree with you there because the whole thing in the sports hall and that. It's, it's just tarnishes the tournament, doesn't obviously it? Obviously, the better players, the top players, they, if they have earned it, they deserve the best table, do you know what I mean? But yeah. it, the room's not even the same. You, you, you're literally in a little shut off room, and it, it obviously does us a favour, the ones that are the outsiders, yeah. to be honest. But even though I got spanked, but to me, I didn't like the UK at all. Didn't like it twice, hated it. Yeah. But I liked the Welsh, loved it. Yeah, fair play, pal, fair play. Al, tell us your opinions. Like, is there anybody on the tour that you look at, like down the rankings, some of the younger players who you think is going to be a real, real star in the future? Well, everyone's like Jack Lazowski, isn't it? Like, I've grew up with Jack, and how he's um, how he's not in the top sixteen is that's he needs his head testing for me. Well, top thirty-two, top twenty minimum. Yeah. I, I went and practiced with him a few years ago, and I thought, you know, I weren't really playing too much at the time. I was taking a bit of time off. And I thought, That's a surprise. Yeah. A time off. <laughs> I'm on the tour, I just quit. <laughs> and he went, um, I thought, oh, I'd be all right. Like, he'd be out of play, obviously. Jesus. I thought, I watched him playing Drago. I swear to Drago after. I said, he's unbelievable now. And Drago was like, yeah, I've had this conversation with everyone. So for me, Lazowski. But, you know, he's got to do something about it soon, hasn't he? Can't keep Absolutely. wasting years. Absolutely. Otherwise, you end up like me. Correct, mate. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> mate, but listen, son, you are on the comeback show. Like we said, Farnack like said, you're being Q school at the end of the year. So yeah. keep the positive thoughts for that. Yeah, positive thoughts, but the the, the, the venue is just not the venue, the, the format's a liberty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd rather, I'd, honestly, I'd rather toss a coin with, with most of them. I'd rather just go to a tails, come on, who's going next round? Yeah, yeah. You, you could get two tough draws, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why, the, that's why a lot of the, not idiots, but that's why a lot of the players that should get on a tour that shouldn't. Yeah, agreed. Done eight, 20 bags, and then off they come. Uh, and please, pl please come again. Please, <laughs> come play me for money. <laughs> I'm not that good. I'm not giving it a big one. I'm just saying, they are really bad. <laughs> Correct, man. Worse like, than me. Like I said, I do have to agree, Paul. Is there anything you? Well, obviously, not only the Q school form, but what would you like if you got back on the tour at the end of the season? Which, like I said, you got every chance for a Q school, yeah. as we said. What would you like to see World Snooker change about what they're currently doing right now? Well, China for sure, because I don't like flying. So when I went China four times, three or four times, and India once. And I was up in the air, thirty thousand feet, just praying to God for twelve hours. It worked. I didn't like that too much. <laughs> well, that ain't gonna change that. No, no, that ain't I, gonna no. change that. So no, I sort of got to the two years that that was enough for me. But you, you can't. They have to take less to try enough. Because for me, I don't like flying or travelling. I'm, yeah. I'm happy just winning or losing out in England somewhere. Okay. So for me, yeah, they, they've got to change that. Because it don't warrant it. You get three thousand. Like, you get three thousand pound if you win. Yeah. Eight hundred quid flight tax. The geezer down in Morrison stacking shelves on more new. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, agreed. So, yeah. I'm, you know, everyone's got to work, but to me, you're a professional sportsman. You beat some top 64 in the world, you deserve a bit. Yeah. You deserve it. Well, you deserve a bit, don't like So, are you in agreement of top players actually being on a wage? or, 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 or 100%. Or, yeah? uh, you get, that's, if they're going to shorten the tour to guarantee everyone a wage, yeah. shorten it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, fully agree. So, how many players would you actually like to see on tour? Would you, would you prefer like 96, 64? What, what do you think's right? Yeah, depends what you're gonna do, doesn't it? Uh, one to eight's too many, in it, I suppose. Ninety-six, because sixty-four is short, and it's sixty-four. But then sixty-four would be a good amateur game, so everyone would be good. If there was good money on the amateur, if there was good money, or if there was another challenge tour where there's good money, yeah, I'm, yeah, good. Because yeah. then it'll, you know, it'd be, it'll bring everyone standard up as well. Absolutely, yeah. So it wouldn't be as easy for everyone. But you know, there's there's idiots on the tour now, and then we all know that. Let's not let's not sugarcoat it. <laughs> you know, there's people yeah, that are, yeah. you know. You shouldn't be on the tour, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, and, um, but, yeah, in a way I feel sorry for them because they, 'cause they're just doing dough, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And there's I people that can play that ain't on the tour. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, a man has said that in his uh, Q and A, which I'll be releasing soon anyway, before the Masters. I mean, he made some great points about that and just said the same thing. He's a lot of these guys that they go away to PTCs and just, just la 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 large enough to send they've been on TV. They, they, yeah. they yeah. pull weekends or something like that. They're yeah. over the moon. Yeah, you just <laughs> can't <laughs> understand why. <laughs> they just can't wait to put Euros for one PM. Watch me. <laughs> like, can't, yeah. 
yeah, I'll watch you get fishy. I'll watch you just getting pumped. You know? everyone, everyone wants to see you on TV because everyone's got 4-0 on the other geezer. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone did it to me when I, played, when I played Ronnie on the box. Everyone had me to lose 4-0. And you know anyway. Yeah, of course you do. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it, and and that's, that's the beauty about talking to someone like you are because you're keeping it real, mate. Yeah. A lot of these guys, like you said, they sit in front of the camera and it's, yeah. it's too robotic and that. And it's just the truth at the end of the day. I'm happy I lost 4-0 in the end because the bookies lost some bows. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Not only cleared out from 58 guys, I know, but yeah. You know what it's like, everyone's, everyone's doing it, and they, but I just think, oh, I don't know, really, it's just a tough game, isn't it? It's a no, tough game. It, listen, it's a very, very tough game, and I suppose, like, I mean, with a couple of changes by what's I suppose it can cut a lot of things out in a game that, that shouldn't be happening, do you know what I mean? But I suppose that's for the powers that be, powers that be to, to, to deal with, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I agree with you there that everyone should be guaranteed a wage if you get on, if they have to shorten the tour to do that, because then you can call yourself a professional. Yeah. To, to me, a professional is someone that's earning a living. That's right, yeah. Not a donkey that's donating 20 bags every two seasons. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, I earn 35-ish, I think, something like that. Broke just about level. It was yeah. a struggle, and I hated it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, if there was, if he was guaranteed 15 grand, which is three or a week or something, to live on and just practice, it becomes yeah. enjoyable, don't yeah. it? And then if you won three grand in China, you had to wait 10 weeks for it. Yeah, yeah, that's that. I mean, like you said, that's, that's, that has been a. When I've asked a lot of the players what they like to see change, that's one of the main things they've always talked it's about. It's not a lump of dough, is it? Three grand's yeah. not a lump of dough that you're waiting 10 weeks on and it's got to be no. like 10 or 15 and you like you can live for it in a while. Three yeah. grand, you, that's already spent and more. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, fair play. Yeah. Look, oh, it's been awesome talking to you, Paul. Like I said, you've kept it real, which you always do. Yeah, and, mate. Um, Everyone's going to be watching this, one, <laughs> Absolutely, Carl. Do you want me to cut anyone off quickly? No, 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 no. no we, 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 we always keep it classy, Paul. No, mate. Keep yeah, standard, yeah. Well, look, Paul, it's been excellent talking yeah, to you. Mate. Right, And all of us Q Sports, I hope you get yeah. back on the tour. Yeah. Um, many good things in the future, Paul. Well, you'll want to bet on me again, <laughs> to, get, to get pumped. <laughs> you'll want me back on there for a living, didn't you? All right, Paul. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Right, Talk, mate. Man.